Our Earth faces many problems. One of these is how to deal with the dangerous chemicals we produce. But microbes can help us. Bioremediation is the process of using microorganisms to remove or degrade pollutants from the environment. Under the umbrella of bioremediation are different techniques. Confused? Here's an example. Let's look at oil spills. They're huge environmental disasters that we don't really have a viable solution for. They cause such damage to the environment because petroleum is a toxic mix of organic compounds, heavy metals and hydrocarbons. Add to that rapid dispersal and the breakdown into even more damaging secondary chemicals and you have a disaster that can cause serious acute and long-term effects. So how can microbes be used to prevent the damage caused? Well, certain microorganisms like Marinobacter are known to break down the harmful chemicals into safer, non-toxic compounds. If left to their own devices, the microbes in the environment would eventually break down the oil. It would just take a long time, as they generally only account for about 1% of the marine microbiome. Microbes are limited from growing into huge numbers by the availability of nutrients and other factors in their environment. The addition of, for example, fertilizer, which contains nitrogen, can remove these limitations allowing the microbes to increase in numbers and speed up the breakdown. As well as oil spills, bioremediation techniques can be used to clean up acidic mining damage, soils contaminated by heavy metals, and plastic pollution. At the moment, bioremediation techniques are slow, but with more research, it is hoped that we can optimize the techniques and make bioremediation the quickest, most sustainable way to make our planet cleaner.